Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today is Friday, December 8th. Hope everybody had a good week. Taking a look at the markets and then we'll jump into the trades for the week. So S&P ending on a strong note, no surprise. Uh, S&P year to date up almost 20% now. We are closing in on the high of the year, which in ES was 46, 34 and a half. And uh, we closed today at 46.08, so getting close. NASDAQ uh, also close to its high of the year. Um, actually hit it last week, but closing in on that as well. Russell, not as much. Uh, Russell's only up about 7% year to date. And the Dow, it pushed above its yearly high last week. And Dow's up 9% year to date. Gold hit a new all-time high and then quickly retreated back down. Silver had a big push up and then a big fall as well. Notes and bonds uh, ended up high on the week, but um, down the last couple of days. Ten-year yield settled in at 4.23 to the end of the week. And oil up 3% today, but a little bit lower on the week. Natty gas, red all week. Soybeans. Choppy back and forth. Wheat, a little bit higher. Corn, uh, a little bit choppy on the week. The euro, red on the week. The pound, red on the week. And Bitcoin settled in right at 45,000, up 3% today. Big week. Uh, big week to the upside. And Bitcoin is now up 170% year to date. All right, so those are, a, that's a little quick look at the market. One last thing, VIX. Settled in at 12.35, so a new new recent low here. If we look at, um, you know, got down to around this level, about 12.69 a little while ago. It's pushing new lows as of today, 12.35. So, unfortunately, no volatility for you. All right, so let's jump into the trades for the week, starting with, uh, let me get my trader sync up here. Uh, so zero DTE starting with the AM ratio trades. Nice week for AM ratios, plus 11,485, nine trades, 77% win rate. So some of our other time frames making up for what's been a pretty non-existent power hour due to, due to the low premiums. Uh, but some of the AM and other time frames picking up the slack. Uh, DKS, uh, I'm not really trading anymore. I did take a discretionary one, small $330 profit. JSPs had two of those. Oops. Had two of those. Both were winners. One on Tuesday for $1,600, one today for plus $1,500, so a little over $3,100 on those two JSP trades. Power Hour. So I've been trading just minimal, minimal size. As you can see here, uh, tiny size due to low premiums. That's been the theme recently. So uh, I've just been, just to kind of stay engaged, we stream every day for Power Hour, so I want to kind of do something during the live stream. So just taking some very small trades just to just to stay engaged, but um, ended up down 3400 for the week on Power Hour trades. Three winners today. Uh, this one is showing no profit, but that'll be a $780 winner because I Took that one to the bell. So once those options settle, that'll be plus 780. So actually about 2,600 uh, on a loss total for power hour for the week. And uh, PM ratios did okay as well. Three trades, two winners, one loser, 2,100 on the PMs. Quiet lunches. Two trades, one winner, one loser, small green. Uh, I don't think I took any reverse iron condors this week. Yeah, no trades on Rick. Uh, dynamic butterflies. So this is uh, this number is a little bit misleading. It's showing a positive 8,300, 8, but... Uh, so I closed out the profitable piece of that, let the unprofitable piece expire. So that'll end up being a net loser of about, I think about $1,500 loss. So don't pay attention to that one. That one's closed for a loss. That was the only closed one there. Uh, dynamic calendars, positive week on the calendar front. 
get all these clicked. Give it a quick refresh. Yeah, plus uh, a little over 1,300 in profits on calendar. So it had a, a individual calendar plus 450, a 6.7 booked over 1,600, a 3.6 was a loser, 3.5 was a loser, 5.7 was a loser, 3.4 was a loser, 1.3 small loser. Then had a winner for a 2.4, a winner on a 1.3, a really nice winner on a 1.2, a loser on a 1.2, another big winner on a 1.2. Loser on a one two, so kind of back and forth on those, and then today hit a uh, two five from Wednesday for plus twelve hundred, uh, and then loaded up on my Friday calendars. So we'll see what happens with those next week. Obviously, a lot of events going on with CPI, uh, bond auctions, FOMC, all the fun stuff, employment data, all kinds of stuff going on ne next week. All right, so that's it for calendars, and then Iron Ducks. Uh, yeah, just opened one of those, no closed trades. Option selling, very little happened there. I think I closed out one winner. No, one loser. That's right. $85 loss on that hedgehog in ES. And then I didn't close any portfolio margin trades, so nothing to report there. Uh, the only other thing, and these aren't trades that I share with the community beforehand yet, but my directional futures, uh, a little bit down on the week minus 786. So I'll be sharing more about what I'm doing with those in the coming weeks. So that's it, my friends. Hope everybody has a good weekend. We'll be back at it next week with all kinds of economic reports. See you then.